Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Roundtable Knight Vike. This guy may seem familiar to you, and it's because you fought sort of like a later form of him, in terms of story, back in Lyrnia of the Lakes near the Frenzy Flame Village. But this version is way more intense. So, he has some red lightning dragon abilities, and those deal a ton of damage. The most devastating attack this guy has is that jump you saw just before. It's both devastating because if he gets the full hit on you, where if you get stunned and then stabbed, it's a one shot. Basically from 100 to zero, you're dead. The other frustrating thing is that the whirlwind effect on it lasts a considerable amount of time to the point where I think they sh kinda should nerf it, in my opinion. That said though, if you time it correctly, you can get in on him and get a backstab. It is a little difficult though. Vike is a NPC, so he can flask up just like an invader. However, he only has one flask. So even though it heals basically his entire health bar, it's okay. You only have to deal with that once. Just consider it more health on the health bar. Don't get too discouraged by it. The other very clear major ability that he has is a lightning attack that is unique to him. And when you kill him, you will get it as loot. So, I'm only using a straight sword. However, it is the coded sword which scales only with faith. It only deals holy damage. He seems to be weak to holy because this sword did more damage than my plus 23 long sword. So, if you have any faith-based weapons, go ahead and give those a try. I'm not exactly sure why he's weak to faith. It could be a story reason because of the frenzy flame. Not 100% sure. But the main thing I'm trying to point out is that he does not have much poise at all. One hit from a longsword will get him to be interrupted from most attacks. This does not count for the big leaping attack. Do not attempt to hit him out of that, because it's not going to work. Luckily, the whirlwind of that startup did not hit me, only the stab did. So that helped a good deal. The tricky thing is that you can backstab him after that leap attack. However, because the whirlwind lasts on the hit for a while, it's tough to get in on him. And what can end up happening is you get stuck in the backstab animation, but the backstab doesn't happen. And then he gets follow-up damage on you and possibly a kill. So while I won't say don't fish for backstabs against this guy because you do want to kill him before he just whittles your health down and runs you out of flasks, which is entirely possible considering everything he does does damage even when you're blocking, you don't want to get caught up trying to fish for backstabs too often because he is able to sort of avoid them in a way. So only do it once you get comfortable with the timing of that whirlwind. The only other spell that he has is this triple lightning strike. He can sort of spam that, so you have to pay close attention to his hand. He can do it two or three times, and the third one is kind of rare, but it's really there to like throw you off. So if you just run in one direction and just pay attention to him, there's no shame in just letting him not necessarily dictate the speed of the fight, but there's no shame in just letting him do what he wants while you run away to kind of get a good look at the animations, see what you should be looking out for, and then healing up when necessary. I did notice that his regular spear thrust, he has a tendency to do multiple thrusts in a row, even if you're not near him. So if you notice that happening and you're at sort of like a mid distance from him, you can bait out his extended spear thrusts just like that right there. Even though he wasn't near me, he still kind of does it a couple times. So if you notice him going for that long third thrust, start to move in, let it happen, and then punish right after. Or if you're using a quicker weapon like a long sword or a dagger, then you can just hit him out of it. Like I said, he has no poise. The other thing that you want to try to do is always run to your right, his left, because he only attacks with one hand. He really doesn't two-hand his weapon ever. So unless he's using the big spear charge ability, you don't have much to worry about. You notice there, I was, I don't know, in my opinion, within backstab range, but I wound up only getting a hit. So what I recommend doing is just paying very close attention to what you are doing. I know that sounds kind of obvious, 
but if you press R1 and you assume that you got a backstab, you're probably going to get in trouble for it. So make sure you got that backstab before sort of letting go of your controller, breathing, and repositioning yourself, or resetting yourself, I should say. He is especially vulnerable when he is putting on the lightning buff. There is no lightning strike associated with it that can deal damage to you, so just feel free to go in and get some damage on him. When you defeat him, you get Vike's Dragon Bolt, as well as the Fingerprint Armor. And if you put on the Fingerprint Armor, you will notice it looks suspiciously like an armor set from Demon Souls. So, not sure what that means. I have an odd feeling, and I have not beaten the game. This is just a theory. I have an odd feeling Elden Ring is connected to all of Souls. I don't know. I don't know why I think that. There's just so many callbacks that have deep lore implications, I think. But I could be crazy. But that's it. That is Roundtable Knight Vike in the Lord Contenders Everjail in the Mountaintops of Giants. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll speak Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.